All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, I don't even know where to begin with this whole project because so many things have changed and we haven't really been keeping up on the vlog. So, um, I don't know. We changed chassis, if that was even ever stated before. We changed stat chassis. We got a 1.8T uh, big turbo motor. Um, Hunter, do you want to give a quick like rundown over just some basics of the basic gist of what we're doing? So this whole mess. Is going to that whole mess. I know we got specs on the motor. Yeah, we so got I'll specs pay, on the motor. Play that clip right here. So this motor, essentially, it just is. I mean, it's kind of your basic 1.8T. It doesn't have a stroker on it or anything, but uh, it's got manly forged rods, um, JE forged custom pistons with eight and a half to one compression and bore the 82.5 millimeters. Um, we had a local shop just machine it for us. Um, and that's kind of pretty much the main gist of it. We don't have any head work right now. Usually you don't need to do that until you're really trying to make a lot of power, but we'll see, we'll see if it makes something. It might. And then, um... So we've got our genuine, ge genuine Garrett GT30 um, so right here. Here. We got We got the Garrett logo, okay? Yep. That's how you know it's legit, alright? <laughs> no nameplate because, like, that's how Garrett just does it, you know? Yeah, um, uh, we've got the uh, really, really nice TIG welded oh, yes. manifold, but it is an eBay manifold, oh, so it's, uh, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. Close Masters uh, FX500 clutch, six puck, six puck, should hold pretty well, 250% over stock, um, we've no got emissions our... bullshit because we don't believe in yeah. that. Yeah, fuck that. Siemens 1,000cc uh, injectors, uh, integrated fuel um, rail, built fuel rail. Um, for now, that's about yeah. it. That's main gist. Oh. So now we've been gutting this Mark II out, which I has been shown in other videos. We were trying to sell it, but then it ended up just like dying, and we we're just like, eh, fuck it, let's just make this the race car instead of the other Mark III, because this is cooler. Yeah. So we've uh, painted the bay, done some trimming. We're going to do a little bit more today. Got the brackets off, we're going to finish trimming the rain tray. Um, getting basically everything ready. The day that we're getting everything ready to put the motor in, um, all we need is transmission bolts, which will come next weekend. So, we got to get the uh, shifter linkage in. We're going to try and get the fuel cell in. We already got our uh, NRG seat in with the Corbro bracket. Uh, Sparco quick release with some eBay steering wheel, I believe. Um, we got the... Uh, Mark IV pedal in, which we'll have to get the clutch pedal in today as well. So right now, mainly how the tear is going to set up, we're going to use this, keep the stock dash. Flock it. Um, yeah, flock it because it's dumb cracked, so we will make a how-to video on uh, how to flock a cracked dash and make it look balling again. So, <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the plans today, fuel cell, cables. Or fuel cell, fuel lines, pedals, and then more engine bay cleanup, and that'll be it. One more thing I gotta update y'all on. We totally organized the shop. We also got rid of the carpet glue and actually painted the floor. So now we have somewhat of a legit shop now, which is badass. Got all tools and shit here, all big open workspace. That's the Mark II's home when we're not working on it. And yeah, I can't believe we missed that. It's been it's been like this for like three months now. We haven't done a single update on it. Okay. Now, I think I'm gonna get uh, cracking on the shifter box. And then, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna figure out if these bolts for this transmission from the stock Mark II work for our transmission. Now we don't have to buy bolts. Oh yeah, that's right. And then we can bolt the trans up today. And possibly get the motor in today. Oh, we be good. Dope. We good. We have everything we need to do it. So let's have bolts. Gang. Gang. All right. As you can see, 
We got the pedal in. Now I gotta get the shifter box in. So we got to uh, cut the OG brackets off this Mark IV shifter. And we gotta make some stuff here according to the forms. Don't know who made this form, but I give them credit. So yeah, it says cut, cut, cut. And then we gotta uh, draw out the holes there and make a little bracket like so. That'll bolt to these guys. Let's get it. Ah, never mind. That's too hard. It's not safe. All right, we got the uh, got the drop light. Got the uh, got the holes drilled out. Got the corner bracket of this cut. Now we just gotta make a bracket. Let me find a place to set this light so I can point. Now we just gotta make a bracket that comes up over here has holes for this, and we'll be solid. So right now, yeah. Tighten those down. Cherry. What you doing? I'm trying to clean this, but it's fucking disgusting, dude. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little gross. Yeah. Come on, side. 160,000 mile Mark II. So I mark the piece of steel where it, like, stands up on the end of the shifter. I'm gonna throw this in the vise, bend it down. We have the and old then trying to replicate the other side. Brothers. What? Do we have the old bait? Let's no. fucking drop that thought on. We have the old knob that we're going to retrofit on there. Oh yeah, brother. Yeah. Alright, so I got this bent, and it turned out amazing. I was trying to do uh, what this guy did right here, but I ended up bending it a little weird. But I also ended up bending it, like, perfect. So I'm going to set this down right here, you see that? And then now it goes over the tunnel. And now I got the holes marked. Should be pretty spot on. Drill out these holes, lay some beads on this, and then we will have the shifter mounted. Alright, got the holes drilled out. I had to cut a little notch right here to clear that, and then I had to I had to slot this hole a little bit. But other than that, it lines up pretty good. Got the paint scraped away. I'm gonna lay some beads on both sides, and shifter will be in. Alrighty. I did some shitty welds because our welder helmet sucks, and I really can't see anything. I, I can see the weld now that I'm looking at it through the camera. It's the only time I've been able to see it. Yeah, but it's on there. It's solid. Um, I'm gonna turn off this music because, first of all, this song sucks. Second of all, I don't want copyright. Hi. Um, Cole cleaned up the rain tray. Looks pretty good. And then uh, we put the transmission on. You guys just saw the time lapse of that. And then I think that's it. Hey, Cole. You want to tell everyone? Dude, I just fucking sawed my fingers open. Oh, yeah, that too. I actually got them, like, healed up. I got the skin, like, moved over now, so, like... Yeah, well, I was going to mainly healing, state how you, uh... Made a mistake by driving yeah. my car today. Yeah. yeah. We need to, I have three other vehicles. We need to update the people on that car. I have fucking two other have... vehicles to drive, and I still dr drive the fucking turd the day it's going to snow. This is the second time you've done this too. This is the second time I've done this. And last time I drove it home in the snow on bald ass tires, I fucking sent the fucker over a curb. Not on purpose. Lost I was driving the middle of the road. I was driving like a good Samaritan. But that's okay because as soon as the back lot gets full of snow, I can start whipping shits in the back lot. So like yeah, dang. we'll do that tonight. Brother serrated my fucking yeah, what was I gonna fingers say? open. Oh, and you also lost your bumper in the middle of the road last time, too. Yep. Luckily, we had a homie following you, and he picked it up. Dude. Pizza. Pizza. All of our cars are built on pizza. Only pizza. Only that's pizza. All, that's all it is. And Taco Bell. Pizza and Taco Bell. Fuel sales going in. Hunter's making some cross brackets to stop it from sliding side to side. And then we're gonna strap it over the top. It'll be mint. Feels all brackets are complete. Got the nib. I'm just gonna do our brace across. 
with this strap right here. And that'll be good. What are you doing? I'm finishing up the fuel pressure regulator side for the fuel rail. You know, the fuel pressure regulator. Use this higher pressure shit. Then we just gotta do the clutch pedal. <clears throat> Finish the getting the tank fully installed. Wrap a fuel line all the way into here. Two fuel lines all the way into here. Get the clutch pedal mounted, and uh, this can go in. And Cole is now on camera duty. So I'm gonna try and get this clutch pedal in. The problem is the uh, master cylinder connector um, and the vacuum line. You gotta figure that out. It's not a vacuum line, it's the reservoir line, but this doorknob handle sucks because Mark 3 and Mark 2. So the thing is, we uh, drilled out a hole that's a little too big, and we have a uh, screw holes. Not a lot of room. That are right next to there. So I got to fab up a bracket, but I sat in the comfy chair and I don't want to get out now. I will show you the bracket in a minute. So my plan here, with these holes being like in the way of the hole that we drilled out, I'm going to take this flat piece of steel. And I'm going to cut it pretty short, like so, probably like an inch or so, maybe an inch and a half. And then I'm going to take out the flapper and kind of carve, let's get some better light, kind of carve around where that edge goes so we can tuck it in pretty close, as close as we can. And then we'll drill this out, bolt it to that, and then um, we'll probably drill and tap this and then weld this to the frame. I agree with or to that. the firewall. That's the plan. Oh. Here's another video of Quaid grinding. If he didn't like the last five. <laughs> Why my grind, bro? I don't know what it's I guess you could say, uh, the grind don't stop. Brothers. It says we only have 56 seconds left. What does that mean? That means the SD card's full. Well, what the fuck? So, uh, I hope you're not recording right now. I definitely am. <laughs> <laughs> Life water for when you're alive. And, uh, dude, should I get a Red Bull about it? Mm, it's just expensive, but like, I need the, I need the boost. You feel me? Oh, they have the peach ones here. I'm totally gonna buy a peach one. Sorry, Mountain Dew. I'm trading you off tonight. I'm just gonna go in. You took the- oh, I thought you took the last peach one too, I was about to I took the last peach one. Dude, there's only five left. No, I'm just kidding, there's three left. Two left, one left. Okay. It's just, uh... What'd you do, Cole? Oh, uh, yeah, I fucking forgot how to drink, so... Head back in there! <laughs> Alright, brothers. We got... Shit dick. Grease. Maybe if you're gonna turn left, you should be in the left turn lane, you know? Dude, stupid bitch! Stupid bitch! I thought she just had her signal on for no reason, but no, she's just a stupid bitch. Okay, go. Got it. Let people know. This is our problem. <laughs> Whoa, dude, you got so close to my truck. Down. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You just know your car. You definitely got close, though. Really? In the car world, we call it test fitting. Some people call it rape. Whoa. <laughs> that was a bad one. I'm done. <laughs> In-depth look at the hole we're gonna fill. Shifter linkage, but it doesn't have a seat clip on it. So it just pulls out. So just put a pack on the 
end of it. So yeah. Right. Got the nuts tack welded on there. So we're going to cut out the firewall as you saw in Cole's recording. I might have to flapper that a little bit to get it to fit. And then we'll just run a bead across that on the inside. Run a bolt through here. Probably tack welded on the other side of the firewall. That will be mint. In case you're wondering, it's been a total shitstorm putting this uh, clutch in. Just the clutch pedal. Not the clutch itself, just... Alrighty. Finally got the bracketry all hooked up. Yeah, it looks like shit, but we'll paint it. And it slides right fucking in. That's what's up! That was very stressful. <laughs> Alright. Excuse me. It's in there now. We have it in. Finally. Now we can get the motor in. Gang. Alright, got our holes capped, got a couple more over here, but fuck it, got a power steering looped, it's motor time, let's say we vacuum out the central bay first. Hell yeah, so What has it been, like a year and a half? <laughs> a year and a half of it being on the fucking stand. No, it's stand. been, no, no, we, we, cause this has been on the stand, this motor was a part before we moved, so yeah. it's been like, almost a year. Yeah, it's been almost a year, but hey, it's... It's finally off, so like that's better than I expected, honestly. Yeah, right? this weekend, yeah, dude. Yeah, no, we we really came in clutch on this one. So yeah, this is gonna yeah. be sick. Let's get her in. It's going in, Let's dude. See this. Let's see this. Yeah, I, in there, dude. Like this is the this is the biggest thing right here. Like this is the jump. Like this is the from project to like. Yeah. This is yeah. Like. I don't know Hunter, where I was going with that. Hunter, Hunter's been from Hunter's built. been feeling it all day long, but now that it's off the hoist, I'm like, whoo! From build to project is kind of the like. It's gonna be like from full build to project. It's I gonna remember, actually. Kids, don't forget to torque your knock sensors, because if you don't, it's gonna knock and it's gonna be a cunt to tune. Torquing knock sensor. Three, two, one, go. Breaking knock sensor. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this not? I'm worried about this thing. Oh. Trick 15. Okay. Good. I think you're tightening the bolt right now. Is yeah, I am. I mean, it got tighter, but the thing is, is it's not fucking turning over. <coughs> yeah. Like, I'm not giving, giving anything for that. Just punch me in the face, why don't you? <laughs> I'm practically lifting this whole engine up. Yeah, you are. <laughs> now we got a bigger problem on our hands, why brother. Why is it not spinning? Don't understand. My guess is there's no oil in it. In the trans? Alright, that was a very terrifying experience. We thought the motor rusted together. Well, Hunter thought the motor rusted together. I guess we all kind of, we all started thinking about it and all started panicking. Um, we thought the transmission was seized. We all started just kind of panicking. We're like, alright, the only difference is between when the motor spun and when the motor didn't spin was we put the transmission on. Alright? We got this transmission for $40 because I had a hole in the bell housing. We had one of our buddies take it up and it was fine. So this is why the motor wouldn't spin. You ready? Because we didn't grind down the weld. And as you can see, there's some scuff marks right there where the clutch was scraping against it. So that was the only reason. So the transmission's probably still good. The motor just spins. We took the trans off and the motor spins. So we Gucci. Oh, you can see right there. Yep. That doesn't make any sense. Because that's on this side. So oh, it really should fine. be over here. Did I spin it that far? Yeah. Oh, okay. I spun it almost 180. Yeah, so there it is. That's why it was seized. So, we're still good. Gucci. We're still good.
What do you think, Quaid? It's fucking dope. Look okay. at Let me text okay. let me text Chief and ask him if this is it. This is definitely it. This is it, Chief. Can you imagine if we had that master cylinder we did? Dude, if we get rid of that. We still have. This is going to be the easiest Volkswagen we've ever worked on. So. And it's still going to be hard. Oh, oh yeah. Issue <laughs> I'm saying right now. There's no fucking way we're getting a downpipe done that. <laughs> Just zoom into that space right there. This is catch, right about that size. <laughs> no. No fucking way we're getting a down point on that. The motor needs to come back out for some massaging. We're gonna sit back and we're gonna fucking admire it. Maybe sure next weekend. Tune in next episode to see if uh we actually get anything done. We finish it. <laughs> oh. oh man. Oh man. If I Oh. Give me a fucking have a. <laughs> Get out of your fucking asshole. Jesus. I had to unzoom. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I had to Both of you guys stand on each side and look like. Look, this has to. Look, look dude, this has got to be the. Show you a little more grease on my face. Okay, everyone, ready? And thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. Thank you for watching. We got a. Fucking shit ton of shit done. And we're it's gonna keep good. grinding at it next weekend. And it's so, fucking three in the morning. And it's fucking three in the morning. Yeah. And we're gonna go home and call it a night. We were literally bullshitting for four hours. Because <laughs> we were hauling ass on this all night that we had no time to bullshit. So, so now we it was a great bullshit. fucking weekend though. And I hope you guys enjoyed that badassery that just happened. Stay tuned. Because this bitch is gonna be street ready.